Hi folks, in this video we're going to demonstrate uh, how to install the drivers for your Spooky2 generators, XM generators. I will launch the program. It shows me that the frequency generator is found. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, hopefully you can see that. Frequency generator found. Search for more. If you can't see that dialog box, you'll see one that pops up. So uh, I will click on yes. And it's searching for the generators. And now it's going to load the uh, database, uh, the standard database, and now the molecular weight database. Uh, so I'm going to pause it until it completes that. Okay, so we're up to 10,000 and it should be completing soon. Okay, so now that that is complete, I will go to my system tab and change this generator count to five, since that's what I have connected to my computer. And uh, next time I launch the software, it will look for five generators to load the software. I mean the it'll the generators. It'll show as connected hardware here, and they're labeled as uh, communication ports 3 through 14 here. Uh, I don't know how Windows actually assigns the port numbers, but uh, I just actually put a little sticky pad uh, with the same number as uh, this one here. I'll go ahead and do it like a signal test just so we can see which one uh, lights up on uh, port 3. So we'll go to the presets, we'll go to miscellaneous and signal test, and uh, allow channel overwrites. Click on a channel 3, click on start, and you will see which. Um, which generator lights up and you should see two LED lights on your remote and I do so